Hello, I'm Dr. Kunal Gupta. I'm a pediatric dentist at Children's Dental Center, Gurugram. I've been working as a pediatric dentist since last 18 years and at the center for last 12 years. Children's Dental Center, Gurugram is a technologically advanced center catering to the oral healthcare needs of children in the age group of 0 to 18 years. I've been working at this center and I have treated almost 25,000 patients in the last 12 years, helping them with their most common problems such as dental caries, malalignment and uh, improper oral habits. So the most common problems which usually the children face are dental caries, improper oral habits and certain gum problems. Out of these, dental caries is the most common problem. Almost 60 to 70% of our children face from dental caries. It is also known as dental cavities or uh, tooth cavity, dental decay. The second common problem is improper oral habits, which could be thumb sucking, night grinding, mouth breathing, lip sucking or nail biting. It is important to treat these oral habits because improper oral habits can affect the development of the face which in turn leads to improper aesthetics in a growing child. Now that's a very important question. The basics of oral hygiene maintenance are mainly three, that is tooth brushing, dental flossing and mouth rinsing. Now each of these aids cannot be substituted with each other. That means if we are doing tooth brush, we should not think that we don't need dental floss or we don't need to use mouthwash. Or if we are doing mouthwash, we can skip the brushing. It is not that we need to do three things. So, first of all, we talk about brushing. We need to brush our teeth well. As we call our teeth, we need to remove the dental plaque. The other thing is flossing. Why do we need flossing? Because the surface of the teeth is below. If we have two teeth, when we brush our teeth, we can brush our teeth well and brush our teeth well. The other thing is Mouthwash. Ki. So mouthwash again is an important aid for maintaining good oral hygiene because mouthwashes usually contain an antibacterial agent. They make a such a substance which mouth ke andar jitne bhi kitanu hote hain unko unke number ko kam karta hai. So jab bhi hum mouthwash use karte hain to hamare mouth ke kitanu ka number kam hota hai. Jab kitanu kam ho jate hain hamare mouth mein to dental plaque ka accumulation kam hota hai. Dental plaque ka accumulation kam hota hai jo bhi hamare mouth mein diseases hoti hain unki hone ke chances bhi kam ho jate hain. Dental caries या जैसे मैंने पहले बताया दांतों की सरण या cavity बनना ये इसलिए होती है क्योंकि हमारे दांतों की surfaces पे dental plaque accumulate होता है. Now dental plaque is a collection of bacteria. So बहुत सारे कीटाणु एक जगह जब इकट्ठे हो जाते हैं एक पतली सी सफेद रंग की पदार्थ बनती है हमारे दांत के सरफेस पे जिसको हम dental plaque बोलते हैं. अब ये dental plaque जब इकट्ठा रहता है बहुत दिनों तक हमारी दांत की सरफेस पे और जब भी हम कोई चीज खाते हैं स्पेशली हम कोई मीठी चीज अगर खाएं तो ये कीटाणु वो मीठी चीज के ऊपर एक्ट करते हैं और एसिड बनाते हैं सो डेंटल द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन डेंटल प्लाक दे एक्ट ऑन द स्वीटेंड फूड प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच वी कंज्यूम एंड प्रोड्यूस एसिड्स now these acids will gradually dissolve the surface of the tooth leading to dental caries. So when we act on these bacteria or meaty acid and acid, this acid is slowly affecting our teeth slowly and slowly. And in this process, the teeth of the teeth will be created in a small or small tooth, which we call a dental cavity or in our medical terminology, we call a dental caries.
so as i said if we want to prevent any disease we have to focus on the cause of the disease aur jaise maine bataya dental caries banne ka jo main karan hai wo hai dental plaque accumulation aur meethe padarthon ka consumption so dental plaque accumulation ko kam karne ke liye hame अच्छे से ब्रश करना पड़ेगा जब तक हम अच्छे से ब्रश नहीं करेंगे हमारे दांतों की सरफेस पे वो फिल्म इकट्ठी होती रहेगी जिसको हम डेंटल प्लाग बोलते हैं और फिर वो डेंटल केरीज बनने के चांसेस बढ़ जाते हैं दूसरी चीज़ रही हमें अपने माउथ के अंदर के बैक्टीरिया को भी कम रखना है उसके लिए भी हमें अच्छे से खाने के बाद पानी से कुल्ला करना है या माउथ वॉश यूज़ करना है और जो हमारा दूसरा मेन कारण था मीठे पदार्थों का कंजम्पन उसको कम रखना पड़ेगा तभी हमारे कैविटी बनने के चांसेस कम हो जाएंगे अब मैं ये नहीं कहता कि हम मीठी चीज़ें खाना एकदम बंद कर दें हमें मीठी चीज़ें खानी है बच्चों टॉफ़ी चॉकलेट इन सबको तो खाना ज़रूरी है आइसक्रीम गर्मियों में खाना उनको बहुत पसंद है तो हमें उसके कंजम्पन को कम रखना है ऐसा नहीं है कि हम एकदम नहीं खाएँ हम तय कर सकते हैं कि हाँ हफ्ते में एक दिन या दो दिन हमें ये चीज़ें खानी पड़ेंगी पर हमको उसको रोज़ नहीं खाना है जितना ज़्यादा हम खाएंगे जितनी ज़्यादा बार खाएंगे उतना कैविटी बनने के चांसेस कम हो जाते हैं सो इन नट शेल वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन टू थिंग्स दैट इज़ रिडक्शन ऑफ डेंटल प्लाक बाय मेंटेनिंग गुड ओर हाइजीन एंड सेकेंडली बाई रिड्यूसिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ स्वीट इन टेक विच वी कंज्यूम so ideally speaking tooth brushing should be done not once not twice but thrice ideally we should be brushing after every meal so that whatever we are eating we are cleaning away cleaning all the food particles away from our mouth after eating our food items so hame din mein kam se kam teen bar brush karna chahiye ab teen bar kar, brush karna bahut bar mushkil ho jata hai log office jate hain bacche school jate hain तो हम तीन बार ब्रश नहीं कर पाते तो इसके लिए मैं ये कहता हूँ कि हमें दो बार तो ज़रूर ब्रश करना चाहिए एक बार सुबह और एक बार रात में सोने से पहले वी कैन डिवाइड अ ब्रशिंग इन टू सिक्स पार्ट्स थ्री फॉर द लोअर टीथ एंड थ्री फॉर द अपर टीथ सो थ्री फॉर द लोअर टीथ वेन आई से आई मीन लोअर फ्रंट लोअर लेफ्ट एंड लोअर राइट नाउ ईच ऑफ दीज पार्ट्स वी हैव टू ब्रश ऑन ऑल द सर्फिस ऑफ द टीथ so we have to brush on the outer surface the top surface or which is the chewing surface and the inner surface so what i usually say is we can what we can do is you can keep counting in our mind for example when we start for from our lower right side we can count 10 in our mind and we are brushing the outer surface of the lower right side then we do move on to the top surface or the chewing surface of the lower right side and we keep counting 10 so that makes it 10 seconds 20 seconds and then inner surface that makes it 30 seconds then we move on to the lower front again we do the outer surface and the inner surface of the teeth that makes it 50 seconds and then we come on to the lower left side where again we brush three surfaces of the teeth that is outer surface chewing surface and inner surface so that makes it 80 seconds total for the lower teeth similarly we do the upper jaw so in total we have to brush for around 160 seconds whenever we brush our teeth we should focus on brushing we should not be thinking about what we want to do today or uh, we have to catch our bus ya hame aaj kya khana hai kis dost ke ghar jana hai kya khelna hai because usse hum apne time ka dhyan nahi rakh pate hain ya to hum timer rakhe hain apne samne ya fir hum apne mann mein simply counting kar sakte hain aur jaise maine kaha agar hum 150 se 160 second tak ki counting rakhe hain apne mann mein to hamara mouth ki नीचे और ऊपर के दांत अच्छे से ब्रश हो पाएंगे वी कैन नॉट अलाउ चिल्ड्रेन टू ब्रश दे टीथ देम सेल्स पेरेंट्स हैव टू बी एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व इन दे चिल्ड्रेन्स टीथ ब्रशिंग नाउ वेन अ चाइल्ड इज बॉर्न यूजली द फर्स्ट टू दर एट द एज ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स सो आई वुड से फ्रॉम सिक्स मंथ्स till 6 years parents have to be brushing their children's teeth once the child crosses the age of 6 years that means they begin to hold spoons they can begin to tie their laces they can have their food on their own at that stage 
Till the child is 10 years old, child can begin to brush their teeth but under parents' supervision. So parents have to be mon watching or monitoring their child brushing their teeth. So when a child is 6 months or 6 years old, then we should brush the parents. We can't leave the child on the brushing because the child can't brush the child. Because the child doesn't have so much development in the child that he can brush the child properly. And he can brush the child properly in the mouth and the mouth of the child. He can brush the child on the inner surface. For that, we should brush the parents. Yes, when a child is 6 to 10 years old, तो हमें बच्चे को सिखाने की जरूरत है कि ब्रश कैसे करना है उसके लिए बच्चा ब्रश खुद कर सकता है बट पेरेंट्स को मॉनिटर करना है पेरेंट्स को वॉच करना है कि बच्चा हर जगह ठीक से ब्रश कर रहा है वो उसको गाइड कर सकते हैं कि बेटा आपने यहाँ पे ब्रश नहीं किया या इस सरफेस पे आपको ब्रश करना बाकी रह गया है सो पेरेंट्स सुपरविजन एंड मॉनिटरिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टिल टिल द चाइल्ड इज टेन इलेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड बी दैट द चाइल्ड कैन ब्रश इंडिपेंडेंटली There are many toothpastes which are available in the market and mainly there are of three categories, three types of toothpaste which are available. One is a non-fluoride toothpaste. Second one is a toothpaste which has less amount of fluoride. And thirdly, we have in India with a toothpaste which have 1000 ppm of fluoride. So broadly, there are three types of toothpaste which are available in the Indian market. Now, pediatric dentistry associations world over have recommended that a child from beginning should start using a fluoride toothpaste. That means, whatever we have in our market, non-fluoride toothpaste, we don't need to use them. So, from beginning, we have to use a toothpaste with good amount of fluoride containing at least 1000 ppm of fluoride. So, most of the regular toothpaste which are available in our market contain 1000 ppm of fluoride. Now the problem which usually children face with these toothpaste are that they don't like the taste of the or the flavor of the toothpaste. They find it very spicy, very minty, they find it uh, very tangy. So uh, I have recently come across a toothpaste by Atomy. Uh, this is a nice toothpaste which is being brought up by this company and Two important properties which it has is definitely one is fluoride content that is it has 1000 ppm of fluoride and secondly it contains propolis. Now propolis is a good ingredient because it is antibacterial and research has shown that propolis being added to the toothpaste helps reducing the number of bacteria thereby preventing dental caries. And I have personally used this toothpaste and found that the flavor of this toothpaste is comparable to other kids toothpaste. That means when kids use this fluoride, fluoridated toothpaste, a toothpaste which contains 1000 ppm of fluoride and with a good flavor, they will definitely not avoid using a fluoridated toothpaste. So this, I would strongly recommend this toothpaste for all the children. So talking about the toothpaste, I've also come across the toothbrush by this Atomy company. Now this toothbrush is unique in the sense that the bristles of this toothbrush is impregnated with gold particles. The tip of the bristles are impregnated with gold particles. And the benefit of this is that gold being or gold having antibacterial properties, the toothbrush doesn't accumulate bacteria from our environment while it is being stored uh, in between our brushing periods. So this toothbrush is also a good um, brushing aid along with the toothbrush by the Atomy company and I would recommend both the toothbrush and toothpaste for all the children. So at this point I would also like to explain the amount of toothpaste which is to be used when we brush our teeth. Since I have said that we all our children should be using fluoridated toothpaste um, but the amount of toothpaste varies depending on the age of the child. If you have a child who is between 6 months to 3 years of age, so if a child is less than 3 years old, then we have to use the amount of toothpaste as much as possible. We have to use a rice grain size of toothpaste, a rice grain size of fluoridated toothpaste for a child less than 3 years of age. Between 3 to 6 years of age, we have to use a small pea size amount of toothpaste. That means, we have to use a small piece of toothpaste for the child of 3 to 6 years old. Between 6 
to 10 years of age we have to use a large size uh, large pea size amount of toothpaste so 6 se 10 saal ke bacche ke liye hame ek bade se matter ke dane ke jitna toothpaste istemal karna hai and beyond 10 years of age we can use a good amount of toothpaste that means which extends throughout the head of the toothbrush So through this platform, I would like to convey a message to all the parents uh, seeing this uh, video that we should give, a, give an importance to our oral health. Our oral health is as important as our general health because mouth is like a gateway for our body. So we have to take care of our teeth right from beginning. We cannot afford to ignore our teeth. We cannot afford to think that milk teeth will fall off and we need not care for them. We should not think that if we have teeth, we will fall down. If we have teeth, we will fall down. So, if we have teeth, if there is any problem, we will not need to attend or treat it. And the other important message I would like to say is that when a child is born, at the age of first birthday, when a child is one year old, we should have to check up our teeth. We should have to take our teeth to check up our teeth. We should take our kids to a pediatric dentist at the age of one year for a first dental visit. A first dental visit is very important because it will educate the parents, it will guide the parents about all the measures of oral hygiene maintenance.